If we switch on other section, we are going to see uh, in real time, if I click on play, we can see the, uh, the movie of the distribution of pressures. And in the same time, the curves of force, pressure, surface, and speed going ahead like the image. Also in this case, we can switch over the different footprints. Here there is another visualization, it's the fourth one, where for each footprint we can see frame by frame what we see in the, in the section before. So it's like the movie that we see before, but done frame by frame. As you can see, we start with the heel contact, we go into overload first the external part of the foot, then the internal, and then at the end we are going to have the disconnection to the surface with the toe off. Then we have another visualization where we can see which is the type of the foot, if the foot is a normal foot, or if we have a heavy high arch foot, or a heavy flat foot. So this is very important for the field of, for example, planters and uh, all these uh, applications. It's possible to export all this data to create a new planter for a person that has a, a very uh, particular foot typology. So the software automatically can detect which is the foot typology working on the distribution of pressure and the load of the different parts of the foot. Uh, then we have another visualization about uh, uh, the force during each footprint and uh, the different uh, kind of overload of the foot. Then we have another visualization in histograms, evaluate the duration of contact, the average pressure, the maximum pressure and the surface for each contact of the foot on the ground. We can see which is the force for each footprint in the same visualization. Also the histogram view is very important because we can see for how long we stay in a, a, a particular position of the foot. So if we have a overload of the heel, of the internal contact or the external contact or the, the, the last part of the foot. For uh, as the same by histograms, we can evaluate the average pressure, the, the maximum pressure, and the, the uh, force. Then we have this visualization that is very important, for example, to make measurement on the footprints because it is possible to uh, choose which footprint we want to evaluate and move it on this uh, uh, particular graph where it's possible to visualize which are the isobaric uh, curves of the foot. So we can see the distribution of pressure detected by these isobaric curves, and then with the different tools it is possible to make measurement of uh, the length, the width of the foot, depending on um, what we want to uh, detect. Then in the last part, it is possible to see which are the distribution of pressure in a 3D visualization, moving the footprint in the direction that we want, so to uh, detect properly which is the, um, the 3D reconstruction. Also in this case, it is possible to start like a movie to see the 3D reconstruction of the distribution during time of the pressures. Also this application is really important for application about create new planter device, so it can be really helpful to, to see also this, uh, this visualization. Where is the difference between an evaluation with a single platform and an evaluation with multiple platforms? in addition to these parameters that, that still remains, it is possible to see uh, also the special temporal parameters. We just come back for one second on the presentation because I want you to see which are the uh, difference between 
the single platform report and the multiple platform report. With the single report, we saw that we have eight report sections analyzing for each foot contact, which is the force in kilograms, the pressure, the force, the pressure, the surface, and the speed of the contact of the foot during acquisition, the pressure frames, so the pressure frame by frame, the foot type, the histogram evaluation, the isobaric curves, and the 3D reconstruction. The multiple platforms is able to detect all the uh, analysis of the single platform. But in addition, we have a four report section more that are going to analyzing for the entire acquisition. So for the entire uh, walk that the subject is going to perform on the multiple platform system, all the gate special temporal parameters. In this case, I just said for you another acquisition that we made the day, in the days before, where we can have all the uh, special temporal gate parameters. So first of all, when we open the, the analysis, what we see is the position of each footprint during the walk, detecting in red and blue the left and the right side. As you can see, if uh, there are different footprints, on the, on the second graph we can see which is the uh, step length, the stride length, and the, uh, the, the inclination, so the, the orientation of the foot uh, in comparison to this horizontal line and is in the middle of the, the walk. After that we can see which is the gait cycle the, for each step of the subject in terms of force compared to the time footstep, the time of double, the double contact, the time of single contact, and the time of gait cycle. In the last part of the protocol, we can see which is the time footstep uh, left, right, and the average value, and this is for double contact, single contact, and gait cycle. So here we have the spatial and the temporal parameters that we need to have a gate analysis complete. Then we have this uh, clip walk. It's always uh, like a movie. If you click on play, you can see how the pressure go over all the foot set. So we can see the distribution of pressure during time. And also these graphs are going to be animated so we can see the comparison between the distribution of pressure and, for example, the overload and discharge of the force or, or the surface of contact or the speed of the foot. We can see another section where we can see the charts of selected work. So here we can see always the force, the average pressure, the surface and the speed and the distribution of pressure with the, the footprints, but not animated. So just a screenshot of what happened during the whole uh, acquisition. Then we have the evaluation by histograms, as we saw in, uh, in the, the part of the analysis with the one single platform. So we have the steps time, the average pressure, the maximum pressure, and the step surface. And on the other side, the single touch, the double touch, the gate cycle time, and the walk speed. In the last part where we have uh, left and right value, meaning value, and then the green one is the average value for all the walking. If we click on the last part of the, the, the bar, so view step sequence and dynamic analysis, we are going to see the analysis that we can see also with the single platform. BTSP work is thought for clinician and physiatrics entering uh, the gate analysis. 
uh, because the report of pre-work is, uh, is easy, to, uh, easy to understand uh, evaluation and uh, is uh, including all the most important parameters that can evaluate uh, the way the subject works. Orthopedists and podiatrists analyzing, for example, the food typology and the way the subject works in order to prescribe some specific treatment or use of orthopedic devices. And then neurologists working, for example, on Parkinson's disease or uh, um, diabetic foot or uh, in another case where is involved, for example, the prevention of fall risk in elder people where, for example, BTSP work, it is easy, it is easy to be applied.